Hello. So we're going to be starting a whole new season for Claire and Kevin and Cade and Frederick. I feel like the chapter of the season of Meet the Peabody's, that can be closed now. We've met them. We've made enough money to where we can move into our new place. We've gotten them established. So we've been there, done that. Let's close that chapter. So I think the new one I'm going to be calling Growing Together Ranch Life because we've got some surprises going on. And um, as always, if you like the content, please like and subscribe. And let's go ahead and get into the video. I'm going to start this off by talking about Kevin. Because we have gotten him to all max skills. Again, I did do some work off camera because it was just... Whew. I didn't know how to cheat these skills and I also just didn't really want to. So um, it took a really long time uh, to get all these skills maxed out. But... Um, unfortunately, so he's worth $28,000. We've got some awards now, but unfortunately we can't ride Kevin right now. And here's the reason <gasps> she's pregnant. Yeah, that was a shock to me. I, uh, they woohooed and, you know, I got the little notification that no protection was used and, uh, yeah, now she's pregnant. But, you know, I think it's an okay time to do it. We have 75,651 simoleons, which I did not cheat any of that. And I thought that was really cool. Um, that was all from mostly selling nectar. Uh, she's gotten really good at it. Claire's gotten really good at it. So, um, we finally have enough money to move into... The house that I originally wanted to at the very beginning of the... Oh, my God. <coughs> Frederick just fainted. Okay, he's back. Oh, he's unhappy. Let's uh, give him a bath before we do anything because I will not allow Fred to be dirty. Because Frederick deserves the world, okay? So, Kevin's being cleaned in theory. Um, Not Kevin. Frederick. Even though he's not even touching him with the, with the brush. That's neat. All right, so we are going to go ahead and we'll save and go to manage worlds. I don't, I didn't put anything from the house, this house in my inventory, so hopefully it's all there because we have a lot of nectar that I don't want to lose. So, but we are going to be moving the Peabody's right now. I'm so excited. I've been waiting a long time for this specific thing just to give them some more room to stretch their legs and grow their family. Oh, look, I've got it all green in this neighborhood. Because I've been doing... All right, let's go. Move out household, and we're going to move them to Blueberry Ranch. Because that is... Yeah, we're going to keep furniture. Because that is the home that I built and made. So I'm really excited. We've paused, and we're going to take a quick look around the um ranch that i made this is my first uh build using this pack of course there's a speed build um available if anybody would like to watch that i'll make that one of the end screen videos on this video but yeah we got room for a cow or a llama uh there's little some birds over there maybe whenever we get some uh i did the rabbit home yeah i wanted this build to just be kind of like really concentrated on animals and then we have the house right here. Um, is, did I even make it two stories? No, it's one story. It's nothing all that special. In fact, I might have to expand it a little bit depending on the how many children we decide to have. We'll see. Because right now it's just technically two bedrooms. Um, but we'll see how much the family ends up growing. So yeah, this is the house. And let's go ahead and unpause and see how we should go ahead and assign. Why is Kevin literally always sad? It never fails. Okay, Kevin's already getting acclimated to his new surroundings. Of course he's sad because shocker. Let's go talk to him with Claire. And oh, we should probably check her pregnancy. Okay, oh, he can use the ball here. <laughs> That's exciting. That is so exciting. Oh, it's Winterfest. It is Winterfest. So Cade 
is now checking on him real quick is now making $45 an hour as a stem researcher did I put a garden in this build I don't think I did but I think that there's plenty of room for one in like this back area so that will be useful because he is a gardener by trade that's his that's his thing all right we have a yeah a little bit bigger we have more of an outdoor room for kevin and we do have another stable maybe we should we're gonna go ahead and assign that bed not that they ever sleep in it maybe we should do we should do something a little little crazy a little crazy maybe i just feel like you know i just feel like oh i know the number one thing we need to do we need to go into build by and get a um community board is that what it's called community board yeah that way we don't have to like go around the world looking for all everything all the time so we're just gonna put that maybe apparently nowhere would it look bad if we put it like right there ow oh, that's fine that's fine why don't we get another horse uh-oh call animal exchange purchase horse it's only a thousand bucks it's not bad okay we want a mare i think we want a mare because like i said we are growing our family and i think i definitely want a foal at some point adult horse that's chrome she's a mustang we need a mare that's an elder i'm sorry i'm sorry Mare, 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 mare. Adult horse, mare. Temp tempest. Okay. Stallion. Is that the only, like, one? Intelligent, free spirit, and friendly? I think that's literally the exact same traits that Kevin has. You know what? We're gonna get this horse. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm nervous. I also think it could be kind of cool to, like, uh, give Cade his own horse in a way. Get his skill up, get the mayor's skill up, and then we can have championship babies. Let's go. We have our new horse. Isn't she cute? I decided to name her Pine. Oh, oh look at them getting to know each other. And that that's sweet. I love that. That is so cute. Oh, do they like each other? Do they are they friends? Can we Okay. She's hungry and has to pee, which I get it. She's pregnant. Isn't that like what always happens when you're pregnant? Uh, I think. Oh, Father Winter's here. Cool. Just go away. We don't need to do Harvest Fest. We'll, or not Har Winter Fest. We'll do that whenever we have kids. Okay, he went away. Sorry, Father Winter. Um, Let's get leftovers. I love that it stayed like that and went in our house like that. That's really good sign uh uh we already gotta lock you just go away we don't need any vampires here right now lilith sorry girl well kevin's happy maybe he's happy now that he has a wait excuse me i just noticed something where's frederick <coughs> what oh okay he's still in our inventory <laughs> should we have frederick inside or in the barn in the barn can he go up and downstairs? We can't just move him out the inventory. We have to physically put him down there. What is this? The drifter. Oh, that must be from his uh from his promotion. Well, I think you should go get to know your horse is what I think you should be doing. Let's go like hug her, scratch her neck. Brush coat, all that good stuff. And I kind of want you, Claire, to go put Frederick down outside. I think would be a really good bet. Okay, perfect. Place in world. We're just going to cheat your need to pee. No, why are there all the vampires showing up? We don't want all the vampires here. There he is. There's Frederick. Oh, he's asleep. 
That's fine. That's fine. Vlad, take a nap. Vlad. Just go away. Oh, look. That's sweet. I like this new horse. She's really pretty. Kevin? What you doing? Okay. That's fine. That's fine. We need to check on Claire's pregnancy, actually. Um, and see what's going on here. Partner Cade Boyer pregnant with twins. Yay! Okay. That's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I am going to need to probably off camera extend this house a little bit. Um, I mean, I guess we could make this kid's room into a nursery. But I like the nursery being really close to the, the parents' room just because, which I need to go ahead and assign these beds, just because, like, you know, they um, can get taken away really easily. And, okay, we assign that to Claire. All right. Look, look at our happy horsey family. And, yeah, they're pregnant. I really want to get some good screenshots of them. Oh, it is really cute. I love the horse interactions with each other so far. We haven't really gotten to explore that yet because, you know, we've always just had just the one horse. Should we go ahead and try to mount her and maybe get like... Oh, not Kevin. Oops. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's go ahead and go mount... Yee-haw! Pinecone. See how this works out for the first time. Should be interesting. Get off of Kevin. I wonder if she's going to buck us off the very first time. Okay, well, if he would move. She's going to play with the ball. I'm so glad the ball actually works. Uh, We need to go ahead and assign the other side of the bed. I'm telling you that I want you to go mount this horse. Okay, let's see how this goes. I'm very nervous. Oh, we have a chicken coop too. I forgot about that. We'll definitely have to get some chickens. Okay. Did it work? Can we like go for... Let's just go for like a relaxed ride. Just for right now. Um, okay, she's acquired the endurance. I love how they ride whenever they're first learning what is this horse riding skill at actually i forgot where we got him oh he's reached level three yay okay can now direct horse to practice basic and advanced jumps by themselves with the horse jumps cool good okay yeah y'all need to go home he's tired it's two o'clock in the morning winter fest was awful nobody cares uh ride home oh this is a cute little area that's nice I guess we also need to figure out how far we are from... There's some horse barrels. I thought I told you to ride home. Go ride home. Thank you. How far away from home? Oh, not bad at all. I wish we could um, edit this community a lot because there's a whole lot of stuff, a whole lot of room over there, and there's nothing there. So, thanks for that one. I think it's time for a fun fact, which I actually forgot to do in a couple of my videos. Oops. Um, so today's fun fact is, did you know that the very first item that was made for the Sims game in general was a toilet? So they made sure that people could be. I do in my game have the relationship and pregnancy overhaul mod by Lumpinaw. I hope I'm saying that right, but I thought it might be kind of cool to like see what options we have. So relationships, pregnancy, and family. So why don't we go to paternity testing. Tell Cade he's fathered Claire's child, which is the truth. Or tell Cade he didn't father Claire's child, which is a lie. But we don't want to destroy the relationship. So let's just see. Let's see how these interactions go. And if we get any, like, cool mood buffs from them. Maybe. Okay. Why am I having to chase them? Like... Oh, are they going to, like, sit and have a conversation about it? That's cute. Okay. So, I don't really know. I'm sure maybe he has a mood buff. Relationships and pregnancy. 
ask if Cade wants children. Yeah, you can go to work. Confident. Not bad surprise from paternity discussion. Cade's partner says, Cade is a father of the child. Whether wanting children or not in an exclusive relationship is so comforting to know that at least your partner's child is also yours. No surprises here. Okay. Oh, because he's cold. I really don't care. Um, that didn't really... Did I get something up here? I think I did. I'd like having children. Okay, good. Uh, good. That's awesome. That's really neat. It is winter, so I guess you should be in, like, winter clothes. Let's, uh... Go ahead and MC Command Center that real quick. This is another mod. Like, I really like this mod a lot. Because <laughs> I can just so quickly... Uh do these things and it will be done all right claire maybe you should go check on oh my god there's so much horse poop Woo! they pooping pooping stinking everywhere okay let's uh, good lord i think we've kind of been putting them in just like poop in like Cade's inventory because i know that like it does help with gardening which we need to get him a garden. So Kate's gonna go to work here. So much poop. So much poop. And maybe Claire should go check on the animals while Kate's going to work. Oh, she is all excellent, awesome. We love a happy horse, unlike that one. No, I'm just kidding, we love Kevin. <laughs> But let's maybe, like, go talk to her and just, like, get to know her. Kate is off to work. All right, cool. Cool, cool. Oh, and we can also check on our nectar. Um, None of those are finely aged, because I've noticed it's easier to just hit collect all finely aged nectar bottles. And, additionally, you always want to sell to Roberto Crinklebottom, because he will give you way over cost and it's just a really good idea to do that while Cade is making money maybe we should work on making some money too she can go craft some nectar I feel like you wouldn't have to like speed things up so much in the sims if it would just like hurry up if they would just hurry up it's it's not that hard so what is her nectar making skill is this the welcome wagon okay I guess we could talk to them instead of doing this. I don't really know. Why is it saying that she can't get to it? I'm confused. I don't have time for the welcome wagon right now. I'm sorry. I never ever do it. Okay, what's wrong? Is it because... I feel like it's probably because of this thing. Which we can just like move over here. Maybe. Is my move objects not on? It actually it's not because I had to re-download Better Build By by Twisted Mexi. Because there was an update. Always make sure to because there was a big game update yesterday. Well it wasn't really that big. But always make sure to check your mods. Alright, let's see if she can resume it now. Okay, perfect. It did work that time. Okay. Sorry guys. Sorry, sorry, ranch friends. Guess you're all leaving because I didn't want to make friends with anybody right now. Okay, my bad. You're going to bond with um, Pinecone? As long as Kevin doesn't get jealous, we can't be having that. Did they just leave the food? The fruitcake? Oh, it's not even fruitcake. Okay. We'll eat that. The welcome wagon has um, has, has gotten bigger has expanded love that all right so let's see gives kevin some attention i really kind of wanted to see if she could go make friends with all these wild bunnies i put on this lot look at it. that was cute i didn't have my camera zoomed in enough but frederick was um hopping for joy Okay, or don't do what I just told you to. That's fine. You can just watch Pinecone. You should probably bond with Pinecone while Kevin's at work. Not Kevin, Cade. God. Claire, Kevin, Cade, Frederick, Pinecone. 
This should not be this hard, but clearly I'm struggling with it. Oops. I'm so glad I put so much prairie grass around so that they have so much to eat all the time. And I guess we'll just put the horse poop in your inventory since Cade isn't home and I can't stand looking at it anymore. Oh, okay. And she just pooped again. This is great. It's great. Guess we're just going to have some more. Um, some more ho horse poop in our inventory. Okay, so we have Cade's at work. I think that this just like getting in this house and everything that I really like getting a new horse. I think that this starts some really good, uh, really good groundwork for the next chapter of our Let's Play series. And I think we've done good enough. So I think I'm going to end it right here. All right, so that wraps it up for today. We got to see our new house. We got a new horse. We found out Claire's pregnant. So hopefully by this next uh, episode, we'll have some bebes, some little, they're going to be ranch hands. Of course they are. Um, we may actually have to hire a ranch hand uh, in the game because it's going to be a lot. I feel like with twins, a new horse, Frederick, all the bunnies that have popped up and possibly even a, a baby filly or a foal. Who knows? But as always, um, I hope that everybody has a wonderful rest of your night and always remember to be curious and not judgmental. Bye.